Hello, my name is Chef Mark Sieber from Lackawanna College's Culinary Arts Program. Today I'm going to show you the technique of processing carrots for a variety of classical cuts. Okay, so we're going to show you the process of uh, fabricating carrots to get them for use for classical cuts. Um, number one, whenever we have a root vegetable, we want to wash all the product. Um, the method basically for, wash, for taking care of carrots is wash, peel, and then wash again. Because what can happen when we're peeling is if there is any dirt, dirt left on it, we can actually grind it into the usable product and we want to make sure that that's eliminated for food safety. So when I'm peeling a carrot, I want to make sure that I, I typically don't cut the ends off of the carrot. This way when I'm actually peeling, I'm not falling off the edge. It's like falling off a cliff. So I'd like to go with a nice smooth stroke. Again, when I'm actually peeling a lot of carrots, I'm going at a much more rapid pace. Um, but it's just a gentle rotation. As you see that I'm peeling this onto saran wrap or plastic film, uh, PVC film. And basically that is just basically going to contain all the scrap that we have when we're peeling. So then now when we're done, if we've peeled a whole bunch of carrots, we can wrap this up very gently. We have still have a nice clean board. And for our purposes here, we'll take this to the compost bucket and dispose of later. Being that I already have some that have been washed, peel and washed, we go to cutting the carrot and we want to cut them to the lengths that we're going to use for many of our classical cuts. So you'll see here on our cutting board we do have measurements. Um, I like to go with about two and a half inches. So we have 10, 11, 12 and a half. Okay, so cut that two and a half. It's a little short, sorry. Okay, so that's the length of the carrot that we're going to use for a lot of these cuts. So the key when we're cutting carrots and doing our classical cuts, whether it's a, a julienne, a batonet, um, or even some of the dices, we want to make sure that we're squaring off the carrot first. Okay, so it's a nice straight shot with a sharp knife to square it off and it sits on its flat surface. Okay, this is something that can be utilized for other um, product at a later date. We can save that for stock. Um, we can use that for carrot cakes, whatever we want to use that for. Okay, and again, we're going to square it off once again. Okay. Then rotate the carrot and make the, another nice straight cut. And then again for the fourth one. So we have a squared off portion of carrot. And then if we were going to do a batonet, we're going to make that nice straight cut, nice and even, so that we get that. Okay, and we can do that again. Okay. We have our nice cuts, and then we will take our knife and cut straight down to get our batonet. These are nice batonet cuts of carrots that you can use for crudite, um, fresh vegetables on, to serve a, on, on an entree plate. Um, whatever we, we deem necessary for that cut. If we take this cut now, we have it cut if we wanted to go and, and, and do a medium dice, we're going to just gently square them off. So they are little cubes. And that is another one of the classical cuts that are, is used for carrots. So again, we'll show you uh, one more here. Again, the proper technique that we're looking for is a squaring off because the squaring off of the carrot for all the classical cuts is, is, is key. So it's again finding a nice stable spot for the carrot so it's not rolling on you. Take the initial cut down so you have a nice flat surface to work with. Okay, and then another straight shot down. And again, and one more time. So we have the squared off sides and anywhere it sits, it's safe to cut. We'll show you Julienne now. So Julienne, we want to go obviously much thinner than a, than a batonet. Okay. For our purposes, we can stack them up a little bit. 
And apply nice pressure with that guide hand, keeping your fingers back. And making our Julian cut. So these are our Juliennes, our dice. If we're going to take these Juliennes and do a Brunois, which is a smaller dice, bunch them together and go through to create our brunoise. And that is the squaring technique, processing carrots to do classical cuts.